everyone welcome back to Hannah's happy home so today's video is going to be the first cleaning video in our new house I did some cleaning right before we moved in and then I was cleaning as we moved in and then after we moved in I was doing unpacking and cleaning at the same time and then at the end of this video I clean off our back porch so just lots of different random cleaning from a bunch of different days combined into this one video I hope that you guys enjoy and that it can give you some cleaning motivation you're also going to get to see a couple of sneak peeks of some of the house that you guys haven't seen yet in the home renovation videos so keep watching to see some of that and I know that I said in the last video that the next video on my channel would be the 10th episode in our home renovation series but it just wasn't going to happen this week so I'm going to have that video out for you guys on Wednesday next week so if you want to see the 10th episode in the home renovation series stay tuned be sure you're subscribed so you get a notification when that video goes live next next week on Wednesday morning. guys are getting to see a little sneak peek of the floors here with the trim up against them it turned out so good and here you guys also get a sneak peek of that beam up there on the ceiling I can't wait to show you guys more details of that in Wednesday's video I've also been getting lots and lots of questions asking to link this flooring and to share the name of it so I am sharing the name of the flooring and also the link for it in Wednesday's home renovation video so if you've been wanting the link for those floors then stay tuned for that video. This vacuum I'm using is my Shark Uplight vacuum. I really love this vacuum. I'll put a link for it down below and it's been doing great on these laminate floors, which is awesome. I was also using this vacuum at the beginning of the video when I was vacuuming out those window seals. The top can come off of it and it has a bunch of different attachments like a whole bag full, which is great. It's very handy to have, has amazing suction. So like I said, I'll be sure and put a link for it down below. We are living in a house that is in the middle of a renovation so hence the different colors on the walls the floral sinks and like paint splattered on the concrete floor like this bathroom hasn't even been touched yet um, it may be a little while before we get to renovating this master bathroom because we've got so many other things that we're working on right now in the house but eventually I do have very big plans for this bathroom and I cannot wait to see this unfold into the vision that I have in my head I finally bought myself one of these toilet scrubbers I've been seeing other youtubers use these in their cleaning videos and I've been wanting to try one of these and so I bought one to try when I clean the toilets in this new house and it worked awesome and the little end that you attach on there is a one-time use so once you clean the toilet you just push the little button to release it into the trash can comes with a couple of refillables and you can buy refillables at the store so I really like it so far I think this was the next day now I was getting ready to unload my groceries into the fridge but first I wanted to get the fridge cleaned out the previous owners had left the fridge and freezer fairly clean which was awesome but I still wanted to go in and just give it a really quick wipe down before I put our food in there.
Okay, so this was the state of my dining room after we moved in. We just had to kind of stack a lot of stuff in different piles because I can't totally unpack everything into my kitchen because I'm still working on my kitchen. I'm going to start painting it next week. We're gonna be installing countertops, new sink and faucet, and all of the flooring isn't even in the pantry yet, but I just couldn't live with like everything on the floor because of course I need to cook as food and everything. So I just decided to fill up the shelf in the pantry with a bunch of kitchen stuff that way I wouldn't have to put so much in the kitchen cabinet since I'm going to be painting them I also had to get the kitchen cleaned up because it was just a disaster this laundry room was a disaster so before I started on the kitchen we're gonna get this laundry room cleaned up clean up this pile of trash over here like I said we're living in a house that's getting renovated and so it's just kind of crazy it's a fun time but it's also a really crazy time Here's what the washer and dryer looked like before I started cleaning them. They had gotten so dirty. We did put drop cloths over them, but they had to be moved so many different times when they were working in certain areas, they were kind of in the way. And so at some points they didn't have drop cloths over them and they got pretty dusty. So I was gonna work on getting these clean today. next home renovation video I'm going to share with you guys what my plans are for the laundry room what we're going to be doing for flooring in there and what I'm putting on the walls I'll share all of the details in that video so now I am working on making some sense of this kitchen because it was just driving me nuts and when you're in the middle of a home renovation you don't just have kitchen stuff on your counters mixed in with that is also like a screwdriver or a box of screws or boxes of lights and switches all kinds of random things so I was just trying to make sense of it all find new places for all of that so I had some clear counter space to be able to cook us some food and I think at this point we had only lived in the house for like a day and a half so things were just still kind of crazy everything was still packed up and I am planning to do some really neat pantry organization in that pantry film a whole video on it get some new organizational containers and just make it look really neat in there but right now I'm just trying to get stuff up on the shelves 
shelves and like I said I couldn't put a lot of stuff in the kitchen cabinets because I'm going to be painting those so I just kind of filled all of the kitchen stuff in the pantry on the shelves so it'll be fine it'll work for a while it's gonna be a little while until I get time to go in and organize my pantry when I've got like a million other projects that I need to work on Ever since the day that we moved in, this little lizard climbs up on this sliding glass door at least once a day just to like look in the house and he's like watching, seeing what we're doing. And I had to include this footage here. I picked up my big bag of pinto beans and didn't realize that some of the bottom had split and so when I picked it up, a bunch of the pinto beans went flying all over the floor. The last thing we're going to clean in this video is this back porch. It had just gotten so dirty and dusty during this renovation. The contractor and his guys would always go in on the back porch like through the sliding doors with all of their supplies and stuff and so they were always tracking like the drywall dust in and out and then my husband was cutting trim out here so it just got to be such a mess out here. So I got out my blower, tried to get everything blowed off really quickly. I didn't have too much time here so I kind of had to do a quick job and then I wanted to pull out my new pressure washer to try that out. This pressure washer I'm going to use on the back porch was sent to me by the company Paxis so a big thank you to them. So far I'm loving the pressure washer. It works really awesome. This is actually my first time using a pressure washer so I don't have any experience with any previous ones but so far this one works really great. It seems like great quality so if you guys want to go and check it out I will link it down below. It has got a all-in-one adjustable nozzle. You can do high pressure, low pressure, a foam pattern. It has a 26 foot high pressure hose which is very handy that way I don't have to move around the pressure washer very much because the hose is so long. It's going to be great to have around for cleaning the truck, the back porch, the house. There's just so many uses for a pressure washer around your home so if you've been looking for one I will link this one down below. Hope that you all enjoyed this little cleaning video be sure that you stay tuned for the 10th episode in the home renovation series that will be going live on wednesday morning it will be the next video on my channel so stay tuned for that and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next video bye